Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Chris here. I just wanted to bring you guys a little tutorial, just a little update. And what I wanted to talk about today was tweezer bottom candlestick patterns. So this is something to look for if, like right now, we're in a downtrend. So maybe we will see this pattern. It's not in yet, but maybe we'll see this pattern. So I wanted to bring this to you guys, and this is tweezer bottoms. So it doesn't matter if the candles are short or tall. It doesn't matter if they're black or white. In fact, it doesn't even matter if there are two, five, or even ten candles. Just like the tweezer top candlestick pattern that we discussed earlier this month, the tweezer bottom candlestick pattern is formed by multiple candles in any color or size. The only crucial distinguishing feature of the signal is that all the candles involved must have the same low point. So that's what's really important here, that same low point. And it can be a real body or it can be a wick. And this, guys, is by hitandruncandlesticks.com, so I wanted to give them credit. And do you see this right here? So you see tweezer bottom, same bottom. What that was implying coming out of this downtrend was that there could be a reversal back to the upside. So guys, always wait for a little bit of confirmation as well. You see this candle here, that was confirmation that we'd be moving back up. So that's something to look for as well. Because sometimes you can have coming down and out of this trend here, then we have these tweezer bottoms. Then we come up right here and we almost form that kind of bear flag and then we break back down again. So always be aware. That's just what I want to tell you. So these are signals which you can also put with Western technical analysis like MACD, histogram, RSI, those type of things. So tweezer bottom candlestick patterns, formation. Do you think you've spotted a tweezer bottom candlestick pattern? To identify this bullish signal, look for this very flexible criteria. And see, that's another thing too, guys. There's flexible criteria to this. First, there must be two or more adjacent candles of either color. Second, a clear downtrend should be present. Third, those candles must reach the same low point. So the same low point right here. That's what you're looking for. It's generally easy to identify a tweezer bottom because the criteria is so simple. Once you have a downtrend, simply look for identical low points. Although we don't recommend that you completely ignore the body color and the shape of the candles, these factors are not critical components of the signal. Finally, if you notice the opposite of this signal in an uptrend followed by multiple candles that have the same high point, then you've probably identified tweezer tops. So that's what we've been talking about like on the Litecoin chart when we saw those tweezer tops that were up here. So basically flip this on its head there, guys, and imagine that these are at the top and you're going in an uptrend when you see that that many times would entail that you'd be going back down. And the reason for that is because you tried to break through a certain resistance point or number and then you came back down and then you tried it again and you failed and you came back down so that was telling people that basically the bulls were taking control and that they were just going to beat that price back down okay um, here's some examples I wanted to give you guys so all these are exam examples of tweezer bottoms and you see how it doesn't have to be from a wick, like how these are wicks at wicks down. You can also have a real body and a wick as long as they're at the same low point. Here's some chart patterns right here. You see these tweezer bottoms, same low point. And what happened after that, guys? We had that run up. And this, too, also is a bullish engulfing candle. Do you see how this candle is engulfing the red one? So that was another sign. So with both of those signs, that was a great time for people to put money back in and ride it up. Another example right here, tweezer bottoms. Low point, what happened guys? Wrote it back up, same deal, bullish engulfing candle. So these can tell you when you see this that a bottom's been put in and most likely we're gonna go for a little bit of a run. Another one here, guys, and you see that has a little wick, and this one has a full body. Do you see that? Let me see if I can move that over. I'm sorry, guys. Let me go back here. Okay. So you can see that there, how we had a wick, and then we also had a full bar here or a shaven bottom, but it was still a tweezer bottom, and we moved up. Let me see. I think there's one more example here for you. And then this is a really good one as well. You see how we put in the tweezer bottoms here and then we went up and then what happened is we had this big drop and then we formed that bear flag. 
right there. So we went down. We had our tweezer bottom, so people might have thought we were going to make another run, but this is where you have to be careful. We hit those tweezer bottoms. We had that bear flag, and then we broke back down again. So always be aware, and that's why you got to use other indicators with it as well. Then it says, example four, so I'll read this one to you since this one's a little more a little more complicated. Finally, on our last example, our last example is twofold. Though it contains two tweezer bottoms, so like we talked about up here, they differ in their ability to forecast the future. The first signal forms at the bottom of a downtrend when the bottom wicks of a red candle and a green candle hit the same spot. The price escalates as expected, no surprises here. So that's everything we discussed up to this point. When the price finally plummets with a few significant dips, another tweezer bottom forms. Upon noticing the duo bottom wicks have reached the same spot, you might ready yourself for another uptrend. Unfortunately, the uptrend that occurs is very subtle and brief. Soon we're plunging downward again. This example demonstrates the importance of confirmation. If you had waited until the day following the tweezer bottoms take action, you would see that the subsequent candle does not trade above the two candles in the signal. Best to hold off. So that's what they're talking about in here, guys. So that's just what I wanted to bring to you. I wanted to say look out for this, these tweezer bottoms, because it may happen. We've been, uh, especially in Litecoin, we've been in a, in a nice downtrend here for about five or six days. So it's always a possibility that you could see these, but always wait for that confirmation unless you're an advanced trader, you know, and you, and you have more insight. I like to wait for confirmation just in case so we don't have a little fake out and then another breakdown. But I wanted to bring this to you guys. I just wanted to bring you a tutorial on this day. I know the markets have been down and some people are nervous, but this is the time to study, this is time to get better, this is time to learn, and just uh, hone your craft so that when this next run happens, you'll be able to take advantage of it. So look for these tweezer bottoms. Maybe we'll get this formation. You never know. So God bless and take care, guys. Be safe this weekend, please.